Hello, greetings. This is a quick video to show you how to update your Viltrox lens. You are going to need a data capable USB C cable. Most cables that come with uh, USB chargers, for instance, are not data capable. So uh, use one where you think data is possible, like this one. This came with the ZV10 that I'm filming on. I'm going to update two lenses today. I have the 13 1.4 APS C lens from Viltrox, and I also have the 24 f1.8 full frame lens, equally obviously from Viltrox. So first things first, let's go to Viltrox.com and uh, download the firmwares that we require. When you load the Viltrox page by default, it comes up in Chinese. There is this little corner here, up here, you can switch the website to English. Not very visible, it's great internet design, but hey, better than nothing. And I'm a little slow because I'm using a VPN. You have your camera lenses here, full frame, so we're going to do the 24f1.8. So I click on that. And the black ones are firmware updates, so we have to scroll around. And here we are, that's the one. Now the first time I tried this, I had a little problem opening the file because my WinRAR software was out of date. Viltrox seemed to be using a fairly recent compression algorithm. So if that happens to you, you can go to winrar.com. So WinRAR have a premium version and they have a free version. So I went with the free version. It's down here, it's the blue link. So you download that. I've already done that. It's right here. I already have the file open actually. Anyway, so in your downloads folder, you're going to find the file which is called here AF24 1.8 FE version 1.05. My A74 actually doesn't give me the correct file information for the firmware version. It only shows uh, version one, I think. When you connect the lens, you get more access to that. And that's what we're going to do now. So if you look over here, you will have the lens appear as a USB drive. So first we plug the USB-C connector into the lens. And then I'm going to dive under the table and I'll be right back. And I'm back, miraculously. The Viltrox appears as a USB drive. So we click on that and we have a text here uh, that says device information text. We'll have a quick look. And here we see the firmware version, software version 1.0.2. 1, 1 uh, the Sony camera only gave me version one. So we're going to update the file according to the Viltrox PDF. Once you have your, your thing open, you drag the firmware update file to the Viltrox, Viltrox PFU disk. So let's do that. Okay, so I extracted all that. We have the instructions here. We can have another look. It's actually not the instructions, it's the uh, FAC or what, what this update does. So it optimizes the capability with A7 Mark IV, which is good, which I have. I'm going to use it on, so that's perfect. It optimizes the stability of video focusing for long time work, which is also something that I do, so that's perfect. So this is the update file, and we're going to have to drag this onto the Viltrox drive. And so we just do that. And now we should see the, the drive disappear and reappear. Has it reappeared? It already has reappeared, so that was really quick. And so if you go back to device information, we have updated the firmware successfully to version 1.05. So it's as it's easy peasy as that. And uh, now we're going to do the same thing for the 13 millimeter. All right, so same, same operation, exactly the same. Plug the USB-C cable. Ta-da! And then go under the table. Let's check the device information. Software version 1.0.3, this is this one. And we have here, we have 1.0.4. What do they tell us? Optimized com compatibility with A7 Mark IV, yeah. So this is all for me, it's all for my camera. And optimizing the stability of video focusing for a long time work. Awesome, okay, so it seems very similar and I'm just gonna make sure that I am actually in the, yes I am, the 13 millimeter. I'm not updating the 24 millimeter file on the 13 millimeter. So we take this, drag and drop, Thank you. 
and it's here and we're going to check device information and yep we got 1.04 so we're good that's it so wow that was easy that was very straightforward Voltrox did a great job at implementing this kind of update procedure Obviously, they have history with USB ports on lens devices with their cross-manufacturer lens adapters and, and speed boosters. And it's great that they applied this to their lenses too. Uh, however, two words of advice. If you don't need a firmware update, don't update the device. You might break it. You never know what happens. Something might go wrong. So if you're happy with the way your device is functioning in general, don't touch it. That's my recommendation. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Give me a like if you did and I will see you around.